Good morning, it's the weekend again. It's a week since Lisa was here recording, um, which was a fab weekend, but uh, it's taken me a little while to recover from all the excitement. Um, I've also had a very busy week at work. It was deadline week for coursework, so um, all my students had to get everything finished, all their logbooks completed, which was um, intense, as it always is, just making sure you've got everything gathered into one place at the same time. Um, but they've done it amazing work this year. I'm really, really happy uh, with all my students' coursework. They've worked really hard. Also, they've still got to get through exams, so we've still got a few weeks of uh, intensive work to get through. In the meantime, today I'm making some music, a 30 second theme tune, and I think it's time to tell you about my vlog special uh, project that's happening at the end of this month, where um, I'm going away with my parents and Elaine, a good friend of ours, and we're going to Minsmere RSPB Reserve in Suffolk, where we've been for the last few years running. We love it there. But last year when we went to Minsmere, the same week, last week of May, we discovered when we got there that BBC Springwatch were broadcasting from Minsmere that week, uh, which was a surprise. Um, at first we thought, oh my gosh, what's it going to be like with um, the BBC here? Are there going to be crowds of people flocking? But actually it was pretty much the same as when we've ever been, except that there were lots of cables draped around the reserve in different places. But it didn't really impinge on the holiday. In fact, it gave it an extra dimension. We actually got to meet Michaela um, briefly while we were walking around the reserve one day. We just bumped into her and had a little chat. So we decided when we were going to book for this year, we said, well, should we book the same week? What if they do Spring Watch here again? And we said, no, let's do it. Um, so we booked the same week and yes, Spring Watch will be there again. However, to make it more interesting, and this was kind of vaguely thought of last year, but since I've been vlogging, it's been even more obvious that this is what we should do, is we're going to create our own Spring Watch on YouTube and we're going to vlog every day and do little reports and um, we're also going to set up a studio in the house that we're staying in because there's a really lovely big lounge area which is perfect for a tv studio and we're going to film our views of Minsmere because BBC Springwatch they only show you certain things they show you the other sets and they show you the bitterns and the badgers you know and it's like that's a very small percentage of what Minsmere is. Minsmere is an amazing place. Last year when we went we saw a hundred species of bird across a week which is pretty awesome. Um, Okay, yeah, we'll probably show you some other sets if you're watching. And we, we might even show you some bitterns if we can get some footage. But we thought we'd just show you a different perspective on Minsmere and try and kind of show you what it's really about um, rather than what the BBC say it's about. That'll be the last week of May, the week sort of starting the 24th, I think it is. It's going to be called Spring Vlog. And the reason I'm telling you now is because today I'm composing the theme tune to our spring vlog. Um, I've made these kind of opening credits with some footage and it looks very much like the BBC Spring Watch footage. Um, but we've done it our way. Um, so that's what I'm working on today, writing and recording the theme tune. <laughs> So that's the bass and the guitars recorded. I did the drums using Cubase's Groove Agent SE, I think it is, which is pretty cool. It sounds very realistic and you can make it like play patterns and edit the patterns and it's crazy. So it means I don't have to set up microphones and drum kits um, for something like this. So what I'm going to do now is edit the bass and the guitars, get them sounding tight and then have some fun with um, other layers. I need to come up with some melodic ideas. I'm thinking of getting my flute out which would be a laugh because I really can't play flute very well. And some percussion and just build up some layers basically. So I finished the uh, 30 second spring vlog theme tune and uh, it came out really good, very happy with it. Managed to get a bit of flute in, which is a bit of a laugh.
hopefully you'll be hearing the finished product in full um, in a couple of weeks when we go to Minsmere. Tomorrow it's all about the first Lisa Fletcher cover. I've got a bit of um, fine tuning to do on the audio and then I can have fun with the video stuff work on the concept I have in my mind um, so I shall vlog that as it happens. Hi so it's now the next day and I'm working on the first Lisa Fletcher cover version. What I'm basically doing is going through all the vocal takes that we recorded and um, we may have done like three four or five for different sections for different backing vocals and so on and double checking that the ones we labelled at the time are the best ones and then I have to take note of which take numbers they were so that I can match them up with the video. When we were recording the footage I was calling which take we were on each time so that I know take which three. bit of video matches with which bit of audio so that when you see the final video what you're seeing is actually what you're hearing, the, the actual recorded takes, um, which is kind of a twist on um, this type of video. Um, I've been quite influenced by Pomplamoose who used to do this a lot um, where they would do cover versions and they would show the bits of them actually recording those particular sections. I feel there's something really kind of organic about it and honest. I mean obviously you're kind of recording and you can do multiple takes and you've got mixing, you can make stuff sound better by adding the right effects and so on. But I'm very purist about like, well that take is that take all the way through, so that's the one, you know, or there might be like a an edit somewhere you can do in the middle of the song um, when there's a long gap, um, which is kind of a relief when that happens. Um, it didn't happen in the one I did with Erin, the Susie and the Banshees one, that song. We had to play the whole song all the way through right. There were no edit points available, which was quite hard work, but there were only four instrumental parts. Whereas something like Goodbye to Love or this one that I'm doing with Lisa is a bit more complicated, um, harder to perform, and but fortunately there are these sort of slight edit points. Um, once I've done that, I'll be taking the footage um, and assembling it in Premiere and getting it so that it synchronizes with the, the new mix with all the vocals in and everything and um, deciding where I'm going to go from there. So last night I finished a kind of first draft mix of the first song with Lisa Fletcher and um, I sent her a copy and we've got a few little things that we're going to sort of check out in terms of levels and mixing and stuff but what it gives me is like a finished arrangement um, of the tracks which I can then edit video to. So this morning I've been assembling all the different clips um, into the right places and, and making sure they all sync up with the audio properly. And now what I can do is um, export that as an After Effects project, which gives me the flexibility to rearrange the visuals as much as I like and change the sizes of them and like feather the edges, crop them. Um, and apply all sorts of uh, colouring effects and things. So I'm about to start having fun playing with colour um, and layout. It's a fab day, it's very sunny. Um, I was up till very late uh, messing around in After Effects with the video. What I've done is kind of positioned the various shots and footage wherever I want it. Um, throughout and it sort of fades in and fades out when it needs to and I've done quite a bit of colouring and some interesting effects that kind of build as the song progresses. I haven't been able to see any of that properly because it's quite intensive um, effects wise and it's going to take forever to render. <laughs> I don't know how long the render is going to take, probably two days, um, but it means that even just seeing a little bit of it needs a little bit of like pre-planning with rendering. So um, I'm going to play a bit more today. I've decided that I'm going to try and create like some lines uh, dividing up the, the screen a little bit, um, some kind of curved ornate decorative lines um, that I'm going to draw by hand. So I'm going to print off a couple of stills from various places so that I can get an idea of where every every bit of the footage is and then I can by hand on a piece of paper draw some patterns that I like and scan them and then put them into After Effects and use them as like borders, kind of dividers kind of thing. I also might do some of the text by hand as well because that always looks a bit more organic which I kind of want this video to have quite an organic feel. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Hi, so I've just been doing something quite bizarre. I've finished pretty much all the work on the Lisa Fletcher cover video that I've been working on, um, all the kind of editing and colour grading and animation and stuff. And I'd got to the bit where I was trying to create the text for the beginning, where it sort of comes up and tells you what you're watching. And I suddenly had this idea to base the intro on 
the original video that came out with the song that we've covered. It's kind of a short film slash music video. Um, it's got these hands at the beginning which kind of stamp uh, the name of the band on a, a sort of a black background. Then when it sort of starts the video um, there's a close-up shot of somebody's hand writing the title of the song. Um, which I also liked, so I thought I would kind of combine the two and try and film a hand writing the name of the song on a blank piece of paper, which I can then put into After Effects and um, tweak and make that the kind of beginning. So we've kind of got an interesting themed title um, and then the other text can appear automatically around with more details and stuff, the credits. So I've just been filming my hand, which I had to do special manicure just well call that a manicure I painted some dark blue polish on and found this goth glove thing that I have had for years and then try and write using a silver pen on a black paper with a camera um, positioned directly above which proved harder than it should have done. Um, my dad was in town the other day and he picked up three black pieces of paper for me um, which I've used both sides of some of them I've ended up using the other way around because I kept not writing the word as well as I would have liked um, but I think I've got one now so I'm just going to have a look at it and then I can put it at the beginning do the final bits of animation and then set it rendering in the meantime this is probably going to be the last vlog I do um, before we go away next weekend to Suffolk so the next time you'll watch Brandman vlogs you'll be seeing us in um, Suffolk doing our spring vlog show which I hope goes well I'm really looking forward to doing it it's going to add a real funny dimension to the week. Um, hopefully it won't turn into too much work but I don't think of it as work really, it's all good fun. Thank you so much for watching, thank you to all the people who have watched um, my vlogs so far, regular viewers, really sending out the love to everyone, it, it means a lot to me, it inspires me to keep doing things. Anyway that's it for now and um, I'll see you at Minsmere, until then bye for now.